Saturday morning and the roads are largely clear. Uh, the sky is kind of beautiful and the wind is slight. Yeah. You know how I said largely clear. Anyway, a couple of trucks once in a while. And I'm, I'm bloody dark and I'm sorry about that. I made a little explanation before I left the office and I am urging clothing companies um, to uh, brighten up a little bit because for some reason I've got a whole lot of uh, cool weather stuff, cool conditions, clothing, and it's all black. And now oh, I don't like it anymore. I want it to be more like this. See, nice and bright, you know. It might not be trendy, but I'd rather be safe. So the reporting is that it's gonna to rain today. And then a mate called and said, oh, it's, only, it's, only out, it's out to sea, it's out in the ocean. It's gonna rain, but it's like way out to sea. I don't know how he knew that yesterday, but um, that gave me encouragement. Currently dry and a low tide. Let's see what this ride delivers. I have no idea where I'm going. I wish I did, but uh, the aim of the ride, be safe, enjoy myself, get some exercise, maybe see some sights and stay away from traffic. Sun at my back, mascot behind me and a bike path that apparently has changed in the last couple of weeks. So we'll see. I hope I can get through, I don't know if I can. It's all, whew, as I like to do. That's to suggest rolling the dice. And um, you know, just, that's to suggest fingers crossed. <laughs> we'll see where this goes, okay. Well, I will say, even though I complained about the colorway, this jacket, holy schmicko, bloody warm. If it was orange, I'd love it to pieces. I do like it because it's keeping me cozy and the cut on the sleeve is really nice. Another angle of Alexandra sewer, which I really detest, but it's just part of my ride. Um, so, in the olden days, used to go along here. Watch the ducks fly by. I've seen a three-headed fish or two jump from that water. I haven't, but I sounded convincing, didn't I? And you were probably going, yeah, I can imagine that. And anyway, the theory is, you go up over this little treachery, past that bull out of death, I call it, for the first time then. And then there's this little tunnel which can go underwater or the, the road goes underwater when it's a high tide. And then, yeah, you used to have this bike lane leading past the airport, apparently it's different. So we'll see, I'll observe. So that's semi new, I've done this before. We'll see what comes next. You're gonna join me with it? Seems appropriate. And then some bloody big polymasters, whatever they are. Okay. Okay, what's next, fellas? Prepare to stop. And then, okay, here's the difference. So, I think I'm going across. There you go, I didn't know what Nigel was so famous for that he deserved the bridge, but he established the airport. I never knew that. Anyway, I'm going across his bridge for the very first time in my life. In case you can't get enough of the sewer, here comes a plane. Should we just watch that come in? Yeah, why not? Just to show the sort of industrial aesthetic that I've got. Ah, oh, I can't be bothered waiting for a tiny little plane. If it was an A380, I'd do it, but that's bloody boring. What is it, a Fokker friendship? Ooh. 
So you're getting all of that. And then apparently this, it's gonna go straight there. Wow, I would say that's pretty bloody unreal. Except that, you know, when they make a road, they can make it out of bitumen. And then they make a bike path and they do the concrete seams. Oh, look at that beautiful graffiti zone. Hey? Presenting art and a new bike path. Oh, it's my first ride along here. I'm, I'm pretty thrilled by the experience. You know, once in a while you'd think they might just bang up a sign saying, hey fellas, everyone, people of Sydney, here's our plan. Nah, it just comes along and when it changes, you know it's changed. Boof. That's a pretty nice barricade, isn't it? You know, you can just do this. You know, like at the velodrome. You're allowed to ride the track, no? If you haven't tried it, give it a bell, fixed gear. And then gravel came along and swallowed up that fixie fever. Or does it still exist? You tell me. And all along I just, just, I don't know, I'm doing what I do. And then it's a case of, well, your guess is as good as mine, Rob. You know, it just sort of comes to a grinding halt, a couple of constructions, uh, fences, and you just have to like work it out. I said to some pedestrians, hey, you know where to go next? And they were like, nah, follow your nose. And I was like, righto. That's what I'm doing. I do know this part of the world. And I do know that there's a bike path going towards the west from here. And I do know I'm not going to take that because it's, it's a piss take bike path. It's a like, hey, you know, like go for a ride with the kids and do 10k an hour and just dodge dogs and bollards and shit roads and all sorts of things. So I'm going south evidently and then we'll work it out. Probably along the coast, past my beautiful garden down near whatever it's called. <laughs> Right, Pelican, that prompts a story about birds. Oof, doesn't need much encouragement, this boy. Um, got my camera cleaned yesterday, not this one, another one. It was filthy, you'll see. Anyway, um, while I was in town waiting for that repair to happen, um, I went and had a sausage roll in uh, Hyde Park, sitting there, kookaburra. <laughs> came and swooped it out of my hands while I was eating, just literally like, and a bird, you understand all of that? It was crazy, like so efficient. Like I was annoyed, but I was also impressed. Some community gardens, the airport there, canal there, whatever. I'm near, I'm just to the south of the airport. And I still don't know where I'm going. I don't really want to go in the national park because I'm all too dark to be in the forest. And I'm just keeping an eye on the weather. Last time that they predicted rain and I was like, yeah, that's it. It absolutely bucketed down and I got soaked and I hated it. Uh, so, I don't know, it's a bit of a dilemma. I just, I actually just really need to get out of Sydney. I'm sick, I'm sick to death of my choices here. Well, I've done them all. Anyway, he doesn't need a helmet, he's got a little handy on the handlebars. Here's an A380, right in front of me actually. Huh. Um, anyway, there, see? Just nestled amongst the trees, and, and Emirates A380. <laughs> Hockey, I won't show you, bloody boring game. <laughs> it's 
Did you see that? Just some dolphins out there. That's cute, isn't it? They were really friendly. I think there's heaps too. They're just sort of bobbing up and down the whole time. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, I turned left off the main road just to sort of, for no reason at all. And then what did I find? Dolphins. <laughs> Gonna see if I can film my head with the dolphins. Oh, look, can you see it? See? Yep. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know if that's gonna show up, but I can see him. Cheers me up. Isn't it nice when you just sort of stop people and say, "Do you see the dolphins? Oh no, where are they? Just there." Oh yeah, that's nice. Oh, uh, I'm yeah. Good spirits today. Low tide. Uh, and on that mangrove path. Near Tarim Point. I'm gonna just call home and see what everyone's up to and work out the rest of my day. So, second time in two in, in a week that I've come down to Cape Salander and second time that it's blowing us southwesterly and second time there's a whole lot of white pigs. Hey. I'm like a moth to the light, you know, like every ride I've only, this is my fourth since my comeback from my hiatus, from my magazine production hiatus. And every time I've come to a, a whale watching spot. But there's just too many peaks, too many white peaks. There's white rain forecast and I can feel it like it looks beautiful. It is beautiful, but it's gonna come teeming down this evening. I can feel it. See, there it is out there. I just turned up here just because I thought, well, why not? Um, and that's uh, Bundina and I was toying with the idea of getting the ferry there and then coming home but I'm all black and I said I wouldn't ride in that park so I'm not going to. Anyway, I think that's Port Hacking, I don't know. And then uh, there's no dolphins there, no dolphins, no, no. I like that tree. There's a dude out there swimming. I don't think I would today, it's bloody freezing. Well, it's not actually, it's showing 13 degrees. But I'm on this path that I've never ridden in my life. And I don't know where it goes. I don't know where it goes, just for the microphone. It's quite nice though, isn't it? You know, if you look, you might find. That was quite, it's relatively nice. I don't know what he's looking for. You see that little uh, snorkel dude? Anyway, just asked the bloke, hey, if I keep going, what, what's gonna happen? And he said, yeah, you don't forget about it. Someone from the shore can tell me where I am, but I, I'm here and I have no clue. But anyway, there you go. Tourism with Rob. Tide's coming in, I'm going home. I'd hope to go longer, but the Shire was too strange. It really is weird, just shouldn't be like that. Anyway, I enjoyed it when I was out nowhere near traffic, and then I hated it. Okay, I actually just conjured a plan just, just right then, as I was filming that little stretch of road. And it's not very interesting for you. Well, maybe it will be. Uh, that remains to be seen. I've missed my turn. I'm gonna go see CJ Sutton. Yes, 
son of Gary, nephew of Shane. Uh, what other? Oh, there's a whole lot of other relatives, but never mind. And uh, let's just, I haven't seen him for ages, for years, so he's a good bloke and he's always treated me well. And he owns a bike shop now. And I haven't been to the new location, so I'm going there now. Yes, I've decided. Boom. Captain Cook Bridge, no apostrophe, no uh, plural. And that's the end of my ride. Sorry it was so boring. I had good intentions. Just, that was the end of it. Didn't go anywhere. Tide's rising. Clouds are appearing. Rain's not falling. Mood is status quo. Pretty happy. Um, so, three hours on a bike. Pretty much nothing to show for it. A little bit of exercise. A little bit of scenery. A little, actually, a little bit of something new. But, kind of a, huh, whatever, right? But I documented it because, hup, that's what I do. And, um, anyway, I'm going to get back into the rhythm of things soon. But, I'll tell you one thing, what I do notice is, if you do get a little bit of time like I did this morning, just to go for a pedal, sort of, just ignore the, the stupidity of those random stupid drivers. Um, the ones that just sort of show no respect. If you ignore that, you know, pick a, you know, pick, pick your path so that it's not, you know, infested with traffic snarls, then when you get to the end of the ride, you feel better. I guess that's why I do it. That's one of the reasons. So I'm just, I do it out of habit as well, but I also like it. And, um, well, well, that's it. That's, that's the end of my ride. I'm here now. No idea what that is. It's a place with water. And, um, I'm going to sign off. See so, ya. Yeah, I think it's going to rain in about 10 minutes. So I've timed that well. Fair victory. Happy days. See ya. Bye.